Hi guys, the first five minutes of my video was interrupted, so it was deleted. So you see me here talking about Wendy Williams, because what's going on with Wendy Williams? She's currently hospitalized and she's not returning to her show, according to her own words, indefinitely. So sorry about missing the first few minutes of the video, but here we go. Danny Mill did a year long investigation. Stating now, or actually showing the receipts, the tea, everything. He had a whole chick live, living about 10 minutes away from their house in a house that they he bought for her and them, actually. Because his name was on the mailbox too. I'll post that daily mail link down below. But I went over this in a prior video. I went over it in my 2018 video. But Wendy Williams' story just not dying down. Because she keep adding to it. Keep getting worse and worse and worse. So now here we are today. Well, let me back up. So she said she fell. She fractured her arm. And I believe that was like around December 17th. Or the week of December. It was before Christmas. Whatever it was. She fractured her shoulder. She's acting real strange and slurring her words, forgetting who she's talking about, what was going on. And uh, her behavior was real strange. That interview lock with the locks was real strange. So, next thing you know, she said she needed a little break, a little R&R. &R. It's going to be for one week, two weeks. Now it's been like a whole month. So what? Mm -hmm. It's been a whole month, Wendy. How you doing? No, Wendy, it's not looking good for you. They, uh, she was supposed to come back last Monday. She reneged. When she reneged, they were like, oh, we got to do something. Get a temporary feeling or something. They did. A whole slew of people wearing the same. They had the news guy up there, Donnie, Don Lemons. I passed. He didn't have it. They had a assortment, a panel, like hot topic panels all week with different people. And then that one person, like they pulled out one person to interview people. I think Don Lemons did it two days or one day. I can't remember. It was more than two days, two days, three days, something like that. But then they had that guy, I think his name is Carson from Queer Eye from the straight, for the straight guy or something like that. He did it one day. They had different panels. They had my girl, Bev, the, the lady from page six. But it just wasn't the same. I don't know. And I wonder how they're going to do with this contract because she was re-upped recently for a couple of more years. But we all heard these rumors. She always talked about how she had a, a drug addiction problem in the past. And it leads you to believe, believe that had those demons resurfaced. You know, people turn to what they know. Especially in times of distress, like her son's gone, he's in college. Big Kevin Kelvin, he cutting up. He got a whole chick. And allegedly, she pregnant. And I don't believe if she is pregnant, she didn't have that baby. Put that on the earth here. And if she had that baby. And it sold the, the love shack. It was a house him and her were standing in. So too many people knew the address. That was easy to find. I got the address. And it's listed right now. Got the address to Wendy Williams' house, too. So, it's easy to find stuff like that out. If you truly wanted to know, but... I guess the woman felt like it wasn't safe there. She like, I'm ready to go. Calvin, Kevin, Clevin, whatever, and then got her up out of there. And she probably pushed that baby out. Wah, wah, wah. So, for Wendy, 
That's probably a lot to deal with. Dylan, your son going away to college. That's already big for a lot of women. Empty nest. Now, your your husband, he about to check out. But he said he was going to check out. I, I think they had this arrangement a long time ago. It's just, you know how you exist? I think they've been existing for a long time because they work together. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so... Honey, when you posted that message, is she, she in the hospital, hospital rehab? I mean, there's different stories out there. I'm going to say, I'm going to screenshot that stuff. I'm going to put the link down below so y'all can see it for yourself. But uh, I don't think she coming back no more, no more. Mm. Like, who's going to take over daytime? Because if you really think about it, like, Wendy's messy. So, it was easy to fall into that, and you could totally miss somebody like Oprah Winfrey, because Oprah Winfrey had that daytime slot on lock for over 25 years. So, when she bowed out, she I'm about to, she's like, peace out, I'm about to start my own network, and she left that daily, daytime talk stuff alone, you know, Wendy slid in there. And they kind of coexisted for a few years together, but for the most part, it changed. And then you have the real, but it's something about the real sometimes. I don't. At first, I really liked them. But sometimes they get old and boring. Mm -hmm. I can't even begin to tell you. But I know. That's going to be a hard one to replace. And, I mean, replace on TV, but. If you think about it, baby, YouTube it took over. Because anytime I want some gossip, I'm going straight to YouTube. You know, you got Lovely T and Tasha K, but now you got some up and comers. Like, I like Chronicle Speaks. Who is that other one? Layla, Layla Lynn. Mm, shout out to uh, Impressive. I like her little, like, like Hollywood true story type stuff. Like she did one on the B2K. Interesting, you know. I think she did something on some singers too, like Sierra. Um, I can't quite remember everybody she's done them on. But I'm gonna tell you, I've been watching them. And they she puts that stuff together well. Mm. So, you know, I think times have changed. You got Joe Button. He the male version of gossip. I don't know. I don't really care for DJ Academics. But, um. Uh, Joe Button, cool. I listen to him. Hey, a little more mature and grown. Sometimes, you know. You know. That refined or anything. But, it's different to hear it from a guy. Mm-hmm. No, y'all. You know, when you got Graves' disease, but she sure tapered off quick. Like, she just, I don't even say tapered off. That's what you usually tape, come off of something, but she sure declined quickly. Like, like I said, from 2017, September 27, September 2017, when that article came out with all the receipts, just falling from there. I don't know, Wendy. It's kind of like karma, though. Remember how she used to harass Whitney Houston? Um, look at you now. I ain't messed up my Crenshaw jersey. Crenshaw Mafia. Mmm. Can't be messing this up. If I go back to Kelly, give me another. Mmm. I got this at Nipsey Hustle store. Marathon. Kind of messed up my F going to the H. I gotta fix that. Mm. 
darn your Taco Bell. No Carol Taco Bell. So the other big thing that hit late last night was, or well, at least I saw it late last night. R. Kelly got finally got dropped from his record label. But you know what the crazy thing is? He just got dropped today. I mean, he can't work with them no more. But that don't mean nothing about his catalog or that old stuff. Because I was in the store today. Today. And they was playing. Was I in Best Buy? But anyway, I was playing. They were playing, I believe, I could fly. Hmm. I'm going to tell you, at the end of the day, folks want their coins, they're going to get them. You know, you know what I'm talking about, folks? The powers that be. They ain't done with R. Kelly. They're still making money off R. Kelly. No. R. Kelly might only make a million dollars last year, but they still making millions. And people still playing the music. So, what to do now? Mm -hmm. now like I said, I try to kick some of that music, but it's like embedded. Embedded in my brain, you know. I ain't purchasing nothing. I ain't seeking out his music, but, you know, songs come to mind. You can't be having a conversation. You be like, oh yeah, steps in the name of love. It just come to you. Just you know, because it was happy, feel good songs, but that don't mean you agree with the person's actions. Mm. It's funny. Slow down, y'all. Slow down, y'all. Slow down, y'all. You know, y'all. I don't know if I want this chalupa, y'all. How, how do y'all finish a whole box like this? Oh, my God. Mm-mm. Yeah. Or Kelly going through some things right about now. Ooh. It's amazing, though. You know, after watching the Surviving R. Kelly documentary, so many people enabled his behavior. And you know, Danny and Dash did an interview recently and basically said like he don't do business with that man, this, that, and the third, but now that he said that people pulling out receipts where you were working with R. Kelly, you in his video, you this, you that. So, I don't know. Who knows? There's three sides to every story. His side, her side, and the truth. You know how that go. Change it as you see fit. So, Mmm. Mmm. R. Kelly still hasn't seen the inside of a jail cell. He's doing something right. But it sounds like his money running out too. Mm. I'm here for these. These cinnamon twists. I'm here for them. I'll pass them to the two before I'll eat it later. But I'm here for this. So I was all excited today. I got to meet the greatest of all time at this move bang. Be lovely. She the truth. And I'm going to tell you, she's the sweetest person you ever, ever, ever wanted to meet. Her and her husband. I mean, when I say 
Ain't no hateration or nothing in it for them. It's so cool to see that. And a lot of people show them love. There's a lot of folks out there to see them. But, you know, oftentimes when you try to move in somebody's lane, they may not want you there. No, she invites you there. She gave me pointers on how to do my mukbangs better. Her husband, like, he does her green screen and stuff, so I got to help. He and I had, you know, a dialogue about how he does it. And I talked, you know, I talked to him about his channel, Man of the House. And he goes over how you do a green screen. I'm challenged at that, y'all. You see it's blank behind me right now. Um, we moved from the theater room to one of our other rooms in the house. And I wish we were still in the theater room because we had artwork behind us. But that's okay. I'm going to dress this. I'm going to do something. But Nate gave me some pointers today on some things I can do where I don't even need a green screen. So I'm going to try that first because I'm very challenged at one, editing, and two, like I know technology, but I know what I know. And some of the programs that he uses, I don't really, I don't know like that. So I'm going to stay in my lane for now. Make sure my presentation is better when I'm boop burning. And I'm trying to get this mic hooked up to my phone. People keep giving me the wrong pieces. I'm like, look, y'all, I got a Galaxy S9. Stop giving me them old Android cords. Cram to understand, y'all. But it's okay. It's going to come together. But everything takes time. But yeah, they said they're in H-Town for a week, working with other YouTubers. Can't wait to see her content. She posts a video every day. But that was so sweet. And so little. Oh my God. I mean, I'm short too. Hell, if I can, I'll sneak a picture in this. But yeah, that was so sweet. And then a lady I just started following, Prissy P. Prissy P. She was there with her. And I had seen her in some other Be Lovely videos. But I want to say I've seen her like in two or three videos before. Then I saw her with another move banger, like a Nick, a Nick, Nick Cato or something like that. So anyway, I started following her. Once I found out she was coming here with Be Lovely, I was like, okay. Well, I'll be checking her out. But yeah, she cool people too. Cool people. Like I said, they didn't have to sit there and take the time with me and talk to me. Because I have so many, you know, so many fans and you know, this is their lane. This is their thing. They ain't have to give me nothing. But I'm grateful for what they gave me. They time. They advice. So I can improve in 2019. Big time 2019. I can't eat that other, that chalupa, y'all. Like, they give you a lot of food for $5. They gave me... That chalupa, that burrito, that taco, them cinnamon twists, all in this box. Three out of four ain't bad, cause I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't do the other one, y'all. Then my eyes is bigger than my stomach, and it's melted a lot. But this strawberry freeze, I wanted to taste that too. Excuse me, y'all. I think that's what y'all come here for the burps, right? <laughs> Ooh, that's sweet. And it's even more sweet because it sat for a while. And all the, the liquid and stuff. But yeah. So y'all comment down below. 
tell me what you think about the whole R. Kelly saga. What do you think should happen to R. Kelly? Do you think he should go to jail? You think he need a cell next to Bill Cosby? Or you think everybody should just leave it alone? I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, comment down below. I'm curious to see what y'all think. And then, um, Wendy Williams. How's this story going to end for Wendy? Do you ever see her coming back to daytime TV? And if she does come back, will it be too late? Clock's ticking. Was she 53, 54? So you figure if she sit out for a year, you think people will forget about her? I'm curious to see what you guys think. Well, I'm signing off for now. I will talk with y'all later. Remember, like, comment. Oof, I felt something coming on like a burp, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you can get a notification of my next video.